What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. This is ASA Studio. Today we're in Capture One trying to edit this photo. So let's get started. You can see I'm going to turn up the before and after to see that we've not actually done anything. So what I'm going to be doing here before taking it to Photoshop is actually to uniform, make uniform the skin tone. So you can see beneath our armpit and our skin and on top of our shoulders are in the same at all. And also you can see down below our jaw and our, the back of our neck and the middle of our face on top of our nose are not the same. Also, this wig bone she's actually putting, she plated, is actually too saturated for me, the gold. I think I'm going to decrease the saturation because it's actually you know, the point of focus in the picture. So let's get started. I'm going to turn off the before and after, and then I'm going to create a new layer, new empty adjustment layer. I'm going to tie to this one, skin tone, and then I'm going to grab the magic brush and I'm going to select all our skin like right clicking and select left clicking and selecting all our skin just like this and capture one is actually going to detect the skin tones and make a selection of it so capture one I've actually selected some part of our skin tones I'm still going to click on the part and then some part that have not been selected and let's see if capture one is going to select that part too so i finished making a selection of the skin i'm going to go to the um, the color balance tool and then i'm going to go to the color editor which is this one right here and what i'm going to do i'm going to click on this sample tool and then Let's hit M on the keyboard. Let's choose a place we want the skin tone to look like. So I want the skin tone to look like this. And you can see that the place is actually selected on this round circle. So I'm going to extend it out. I'm going to go to the uniformity tool. Let's zoom out and let's see what's actually happening. Now, where the magic is actually is, is the U saturation and lightness. So let's increase the U and saturation you can see what is actually going on but i feel like let's go use the saturation first of all and see how it blends the skin tone i'm going to increase the u also just to the end like this and then we have this brownish skin tone i'm also going to increase the lightness just a little bit the uniformity of the lightness so let's go up and to this place now if you take it to the extreme right is going to be yellowish you take it back to be kind of um, this foreign skin tone so i want it to look like that the foreign the way it is before so just like the before and after you can see there is no actual difference on this part of the skin tone so you can see before and after unlike if you take it to the front now i'm also going to increase the lightness just a bit and also the saturation just a bit and you can quickly see that don't forget this part of the image so just a little bit of saturation is actually okay i'm going to decrease this one just a bit but well, let's leave that one let's make some certain correction the correction i'm going to make next is this other part that is not yet blending with the skin that's actually not blending with the skin so i feel like the saturation is actually too much but let's decrease it a little bit just like so just because of this place that i cited so you can see if i increase it up you see some this side is not actually looking okay we can actually crank that up later but for now let's bring down the saturation zoom in to see it's still there so we need to bring it down just a little bit so I feel like that is actually looking okay. I'm going to increase the uniformity of the saturation. So this is actually looking good. So let's see before and then after. So let's get going with what we have. Just a little bit of the lightness. Okay. okay that is okay. Now let's create another new empty adjustment layer. And then we're going to name it Skin Tone 2 double click and then skin tone two so i'm going to grab the magic brush tool and i'm going to select where it's not the place that i'm not blending so just like here i'm going to select that place 
this. After one, it's actually going to select the place for us. So you can see where it's selected. I'm going to select more of those places. You can see that it's actually selected already. So also this part of the image and then this part. So I'm just going to select more of the places. All right, so we are good. I'm going to hit M back and then I'm going to go to the same place, grab the sampler tool, and then I want it to look like this. I'm going to spread it all out. And this time around, I'm going to increase the U of that to the extreme end so as to blend it with that. I'm going to take it to the back also, just a little bit. So decreasing that. I'm going to increase the saturation so as to blend this overall saturation together. Let's take it to the extreme end. You can see the change is actually making. I'm also going to increase the lightness just a bit so as to blend it all together. So let's quickly see uh, before and then after. Decrease it a little bit and take this one back a little bit. And let's add some saturation if not okay. I don't want to add some saturation just because of the back side. So, all right, so that's looking okay for me. All right, so let's see. Those are before and then these are after. Before and then after. Let's see the overall image. This is before and then this is after. Look how much, how much we've actually changed the photo. All right, so now I'm going to, before working on the overall color of the tone, I'm going to go to I'm going to work on the weave on. So let's click on an empty layer, click on weave on, and then it. Okay, rename it weave on. Weave on. And uh, make a selection of the weave on. So now I've made the selection of the weave on, which is this one. Then I'm going to go to the exposure tool, and then I'm going to decrease the saturation till it matches that of the skin and the air. So just like that as I'm adjusting the slider, I'm not actually paying attention to what the slider is doing. I'm paying attention to how the changes is being affected with the skin tone. So I guess this is actually okay a little bit like this. So this is actually good for me. So now I'm going to create a new fill layer and then I'm going to new fill adjustment layer to work on the overall image. Overall image so after creating the overall image i'm going to go to the exposure tool we were here before and now we're in the exposure tool so let's go to the um, color balance tool and then we are going to click on this sampler tool and just because it's the overall this max is actually affecting the overall i'm going to sample a place just like this as skin and then i'm going to take it all out so I want the overall picture to look, to be saturated with the way the skin is going to be saturated. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to increase the saturation a bit, just like, so to get the skin tone, I'm going to take back the hue all the way back, not all the way back there, just something like this. I'm also going to increase the saturation right here. So let's take this one up a little bit and let's see, compare our before and after, we will see it difference that all so you can see the correction of the photo this is before and then this is after so if you want to increase the uniformity you can also take the slider upwards but i don't want to change the picture that much i'm just going to take it all the way to somewhere there so this is what we have and this is our after this is before and this is after. So to work on the blemishes she have on her forehead, I'm going to export it and then I'm going to take it to Photoshop. All right, so here we are on Photoshop after exporting the photo from Capture One. And yeah, I want to fix the blemishes and even now the skin tone even more and give some color grading. So let's continue the editing or retouching process. So to do the frequency separation, if you have your frequency separation action, you can actually run it, but I'm just going to do it for people that don't know how to do it. So it control J twice and it will duplicate the layer. Name this one color and I'm going to name this one texture. 
so you can use any other photo to do that i'm going to turn off the texture layer and then click on the color layer go to filter blur and go to gaussian blur and i'm just going to blur it till i don't want too much just one small of the blurring so somewhere around four or let's leave it at let's leave it at four four point four 4.4 is actually okay to me but let's just leave it at 4.0 and then it's okay now the more you blur the more the texture comes out the lesser you blur the lesser the texture you get so let's go to texture go to image apply image since it's that it's an 8-bit image you leave the setting just the way i'm going to do it so click on texture on the layer on the color on the layer drop down color i want to separate the texture from the color and then from multiply change it to subtract now you can see that just we've separated the texture from the image so now go to change the blending mode to linear light and then we have our image back i'm going to hit control also on the other color layer and then group them together i name this frequency separation all right just they don't mind the way I spelt it. So now let's fix the text. Let's fix the skin texture first. Now for the skin texture, you're going to use the clone stamp tool. For the color, you're going to use the mixer tool brush. So I'm just going to select the tool. Now let's work on the texture. And this is how it works. You're actually going to hold down Alt and then left click to sample an area to cover the blemishes. Let's say for instance, I want to cover this blemishes or the spin pose just hold on alt left click and then leave alt and then go over it and fix it okay let's click on the make sure you're selecting the clone stamp too unless it won't do so hold on alt to get this sign and then click left click and then over on top of the blemishes and then left click and it's going to cover that so i'm just going to quickly fix all the blemishes on our forehead and then we'll come back to the video All right, so I feel like there's nothing else to you know, fix again. So you can actually take your time and then look at what you actually need to fix. But right now, I think I'm going to stop here for the sake of the tutorial. I'm going to hit on the color layer and then go to the mixer tool brush. And this time I'm going to set my brush to 9% weight load. Just copy the settings. If you, you can actually go above 9 to 15, but I like you know just set the range you can go but 9 to 15 is actually okay so i'm just going to blend the skin tones like this the skin texture uh, so just like that make it look it's actually easy when you use the pen to so i used to say beware of the highlight so but this one i'm going to correct just a little mistake we have there so out to sample somewhere here and then it's going to correct somewhere there so back to the color and then the mixer to brush take notes of the yeah take notes of the highlight so just blend all these together and then i'm going to go back to the side and then i'm going to all right so let's look at our before and after so this is our before and then this is our after this is our before 
that this is our after. So you can take more time to blend this skin texture and the skin color. All right, so using the method I usually use in even in our skin tone in Photoshop, I find out that this black place is actually not looking just the way it is. I can actually take it back to capture one, but I just want to try something new after using the hand picker tool to select this side. So let's reset this and then let's try and fix this place either with the lightness. If it doesn't fix it, then we kind of leave it. Let's turn it. I'm going to reset it again. Zero. And then let's turn it on. So let's see which is actually good. So we can also increase the saturation of the and then leave it just like so. So let's see before and then after just a little bit change and it's actually changing the background also so we can see where we are before and then after so what i also want to change is the um i want to color grade and this time around i want to look more of uh of the, for the color look at more for the color of the skin so here we are on the white balance what i'm going to do is i'm going to decrease the red and give it some cyan look you can see how beautiful and rich the skin tone now looks i'm also going to introduce some greens yeah and also some blues to make the color pop out so i'm going to go to the highlight and then also adjust some things so what i'm going to do here i'm going to decrease the cyan a bit like minus 10 or let's go around minus 10 years I'm also going to decrease the green on this one. Let's go around minus five or minus, yes, minus five. Looks okay. I'm also going to in put in some yellows. So we have minus, no, somewhere like that is actually okay. Let's go to the shadows. And I think we are going to increase, decrease this one which is giving some magenta and give it a very calm look. So I'm just going to leave the rest the way it is. I'm going to leave it the way it is. Let's see how before and then after. Okay, so one thing I'm also going to try and figure out is just a little bit red. Let's put in some red just like so to make the image look more stunning. All right, so this is where I'm going to stop. Our, uh, let's see our before and after so far. I'm just going to hold and shift and click on this and then group it. And then let's see uh, before, after, before frequency separation and color grading. And then this is uh, after. I hope this video is actually helpful. It is actually helpful to you. It's the like button and turn on the notification buttons for more videos like this will be coming up. If you're new to the channel and you enjoy the content we post and you find it helpful, please subscribe. All right, helps the channel grow. Once again, thank you all for staying tuned with ASAS Studio. Watch out for the next tutorial.